Hello, my name is James Brake, and I'm going to, as efficiently as possible, show you how to install and do the basic configuration of the Custom Reviews app on Wix.com. If you want to resize the app, there are two things. You just drag these little corner options, and you can see the app will resize itself based on the size of the reviews inside there. So you want to put it to the left or to the right of your main page or at the bottom. And we would recommend that you put it on all of your pages by selecting this option. Uh, where is that option at? Right here, show on all pages. Okay. Let's go to the settings. Just put in, change it to two. And put in an email address. Put in your company information. We actually have a video that kind of goes over about the, the business description. It's pretty important that you think about that to make sure that you describe your company in a the particular way that your clients are going to, or prospective clients, will be interested in what you're doing for them. And this would be like www.mydomain.com as an example. And here we have the link to the setup help and to support. Okay, settings. And then color settings. So we want to change the background to maybe a, a red. And then change the feed background to a lighter color red. We can change the text to maybe a yellow. And then another kind of yellow. Maybe a darker yellow. There we go. Um, not the best color selection, obviously. Um, here's some basic settings. We just did those. And also the upgrade now button. Um, so you'll be able to sort reviews by date um, or by the number of stars or the, um, so that the you know, most stars will show first and the ones that have less stars show up last. Then color, uh, some text settings. This is where you change the top and the bottom, but also you can change the next and previous buttons, which is nice. And the leave a review link right here. So if you want, and if you don't want to leave, have the leave a review link, then you would just undo this. You just delete it. And then that disappears. But the leave a review link is really handy if you don't have uh, too many reviews or you just want to get more reviews, which we would always recommend, just being open to what people want to give you feedback on. Some people might change this to um, like testimonials or something of that effect. Next and previous, you could just change those to right and left angle arrows or other words that might fit you best. And you can also change the review form. It's just where this link right here, leave a review, goes forward. Just follow these steps. It's, uh, it's fairly straightforward. Just make sure you hit submit when you finish updating that form. It's not the same as this one. Uh, link setup. This is pretty important right here um, that you copy this and paste it to wherever you need it, mostly your email address. Um, and this is the common email clients like Outlook, Thunderbird, Gmail, um, or Yahoo, or MSN. And the, so the manage reviews. So this is like some other stuff you can just go through there. It's fairly straightforward. Um, and no one's really asked me about that, so I'm not going to explain it because no one's asked me to. Um, no reason wasting time. All right, thank you very, very much for installing the app if you have, and if you have not, that's okay. Hopefully at some point this will be useful for you or you would find another solution that's going to work to help you and your company be as successful as possible. Thank you again.